Hey y'all, my name is Tour Guide Doug, my pronouns are he, him, his, and I am so excited to be telling you all about my favorite pace memory. So before I get into that memory, I want to tell you a little bit about myself. So in addition to my being a tour guide at the amazing Pace University New York City Welcome Center, I'm also studying directing and a minor in film and screen studies at Pace. The way the directing program works at Pace is that we call it the International Performance Ensemble Program, where the directing and the BA acting majors work together to create original works during their first year and during their senior year. So this story actually relates to the work that we were creating our first year, two years ago already. Ah, I'm a junior, life is crazy. Whack. So in the ensemble that I was a part of, it was about 15 of us, actors, directors, all under the sun. We were putting on this show and it was super fun and wacky, but that's beside the point. What the point is, is that I was getting really close with these people and, you know, we wanted to start doing things and creating a friend group. It was super fun. So it was right around Easter. Spring break was on the way. And for some reason, I thought of what better function to do than an Easter bonnet making night in the middle of New York City where you can go on a train and be anywhere. I thought it would be a great idea to just gather in a dorm room and make Easter bonnets. Yep. Some much needed context for the Easter bonnet idea. So way back in the fall of my first year at Pace, I went to this event called the Broadway Flea Market that I go to every year. It's one of my favorite things in the whole world. And I went to the Wicked booth and they were selling this giant hat. And I was like, what is that? And they said, oh, it's from the Easter bonnet benefit. And I was like, what? Huh? And it was five bucks. So naturally I bought it. Here's a photo of me in it. And this Easter bonnet really launched a cultural reset in terms of my friend group and in terms of my experience at Pace. Let's get into that, shall we? We gathered about probably seven of us. We'll see in a picture shortly. And we gathered all these materials from local, local, I wish I could speak. We gathered all these materials from local pharmacies, drugstores, and dollar stores, like little chicks to put on the hats, little flowers, little leaves and feathers and weird things and we laid them all out on my floor insert picture here so we laid out all those materials everybody started piling into our room at 182 broadway myself and my roommate jonathan and we were just having a blast we got the hot glue gun from the dollar tree things were happening we were all moving on and we were ready to do this and it kind of struck me why not make this a competition i mean it's a thursday night what better time to make Easter bonnets in a competitive fashion? And just a very important piece of context that was not pictured. You know, you think of an Easter bonnet and it's a straw hat or something like that. Well, there were no straw hats in bulk in the local, you know, pharmacy or the local Dollar Tree. So what we ended up doing was just buying these buckets that are meant to be filled with Easter eggs and Easter candy and then ripping off the strap which you hold the bucket with and uh, putting those on our heads. This is, this is very true. I have, I have evidence of the, of the moment. So now we were making, music was playing, probably some Judy Garland Easter parade. We're having a blast. We're having some snacks. Things are all going on. Very not COVID friendly. This was pre COVID. So we're everything sprawled out on the floor. There's glue. It's a mess. We're all, you know, having a blast. So things are happening. We're going, we're going, we're going. And now people are putting the finishing touches, you know, the googly eyes, the feather boa, the this, the that, putting them on their bonnets. And now we display them to one another. There's a little bit of a competitive edge. There's some ferocity in this room. We're not quite sure what to do about it. And so we decide to turn to the public. We're in an age of all this information, all this social media, and we decide to take photos of each Easter bonnet that someone who came in and created, and we posted them online, on Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that, and we numbered them, all anonymous. No one knew whose was whose, and we let the public vote whose Easter bonnet was going to win.
So it turned out that my dear friend David with Easter Bonnet number one won the whole competition, which really means he won nothing. He, there was no prize. But he won the glory of knowing that his Easter Bonnet was the best one in terms of our internet social media channels, which was great. That was just a really fun night that I'll never forget. And the next day, I was roaming through the Oculus with some friends, insert picture. And people were coming up to us. They were like, can we take our picture with you with these, these wonderful bonnets you're wearing? And we did, and it was super fun. And then that night, I was heading home for Easter. Like I said, Easter was around the corner. I was on the Long Island Railroad, and I sat next to a stranger, and we had an hour-long conversation about what was on my head how it was made, why it was made, this whole Easter bonnet making fun competition in my dorm room. And it was just a wonderful little once in a lifetime moment where who knows if I'll ever see her again, but it was a wonderful little moment where we shared this story that's so odd, but so fun. And you know, like I said, we're in the middle of the city at Pace. There's so many things to do, museums, Broadway shows, all these really great things to do. And my favorite Pace memory to this day, I'm in my junior year. Oh, I have my flag. Go Pace. Uh, my favorite memory to this day is when about seven or so of my friends and I from this show that we were all working on, we gathered together, took a load off on a Thursday night and made Easter bonnets in my dorm room. So it just shows that even with Pace being in this gigantic and beautiful New York City, there is such a beautiful campus community that you could have right there in the residence halls and on campus. So that's my favorite Pace memory. I'll never forget it. And, um, you know, may this story inspire the future generations of Pace setters to come on and join the fun. Thanks for watching. I'm tour guide Doug. And that's all I've got today, folks. <laughs>